Hi everyone and welcome to the new episode of Swift UI tutorial. In this we are going to learn on how we can create a Swift UI application on TVOS. In this series of episodes we are going to look at how to create Swift UI application on TVOS. We are going to start from very basic of how what inputs are how to give input to the TVOS application and we are going to move over to focus engine we are going to look at how to display the UI using list grid and after displaying it how to interact with it and how to get focused on any element and how focus engine basically works on tvOS but before we dive into depth we are going to look at how we can create Swift UI app on tvOS moreover we are going to look at how we can create complex applications so first of all we are going to choose tvOS and we are going to select app then we are going to give any product name that we need to give. So now I'm going to close this left tab. And if we look at the code, it looks similar to what we have on iOS. So let's build it in the simulator and let's look at how it looks like. So here we have our remote for tvOS. Before we start building application, let's look at what are the ways we can interact with our TV. So in our TV, the user can interact using game controllers or they can con contract using remote. Right now we are going to look at how we can interact using remote. Other than that, on TV, you can navigate from right, left or top, bottom. You cannot go diagonal. So if, if you look at, it's a grid system all over placed on the TV. So if you are at the position top left, you can either go to the right or you can go to the bottom. So this is how we structure our TVOS. And on left, right, top, bottom, we have a safe area pairing. Now, after knowing that there are two types of way, there are two ways user can interact. One is game controller, another is Siri remote. So here we will look at how we can inter interact using Siri remote. On the simulator, we can also interact with a keyboard. Now there are several questions when it comes to the remote because now how I, am I supposed to tap if I want to click any button and if I want to drag over the screen, how I, how am I going to drag? So let's, we are, we are going to look at how we can tap or how we can drag using this Siri remote. We are also going to build this basic application and we will look at which UI element is needed for application to know that the user is interacting with it. So let's get started. So here I'm going to create a state variable with the name button and I'm going to give it an empty string. Now I'm going to remove image and I'm going to add button. In this button, we are going to say button pressed is equals to and we can set the title of this button to login. And now if we run, let's see how it looks like. Here I have a login button for the fresh simulator how am I supposed to get the remote? So we, are, we can go to the window on the top bar, which might not be displayed on the screen. If it is, it's good. So if you select simulator, you go to windows. From window, you can select show Apple TV remote. And we will get our Apple TV remote. Now, in order to tap, we just need to collect this. So this is how a user is going to interact from remote to the app. Now let's add another button, register. Now we will have two buttons and if we need to interact, we have CD remote. Now the question that we discussed at the very start was how are we supposed to drag from top bottom or left, right? So here we have a register button at the bottom. And now if I need to drag to the bottom, what we are going to do is we are going to hold option button on our keyboard and we are going to move down. Similarly, if I need to go up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press option button and I'm going to drag up. This is how we are going to drag using CD remote. After that, if I need to update our text, what we can do is we can simply click button press and we can say button press here. And now if I'm going to run and tap, it's going to update state and it's going to print whatever button is going to be pressed. Now here we have a login button and if I'm going to and if I'm going to tap on login it's going to say button press login and if I need to move down 
what I'm going to do is I'm, pre I'm going to press option button on our keyboard and I'm going to drag down and then I'm going to press button register. We are going to look at how we can create grid, how we can create different views on TVOS. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with our further lessons.